I'm Andrew McKean from Outdoor Life, and this is Record Quest. This year, we're on the hunt for record mule deer. Record book mule deer aren't accidental. They're created by a combination of factors that allows them to grow old and big. So what's the recipe for magnum class mule deer? It starts with the right habitat. Mule deer rarely live their lives in one place. Instead, they fawn and they feed in higher elevation summer habitats, then they migrate to lower elevation winter range once the snow starts flying. They need healthy, intact habitat in both places, but they also need room to roam, undisturbed corridors that connect winter range with summer range. Areas with lots of mineral in the soil, especially limestone, build extra inches of antler. And abundant springtime moisture will also boost the size of racks. Genes play a part in the potential of a mule deer to grow to trophy size. Some of these genetic zones will be familiar to any serious mule deer hunter. Think about the Arizona Strip, the Henry Mountains of Utah, and Colorado's Western Slope. A buck won't ever become a trophy if he's not allowed to grow old. States with conservative hunting regulations, especially seasons that end prior to the rut, are places to look for mature bucks. The final ingredient for trophy mule deer is large blocks of public land. These are the places where bucks can grow old, avoiding hunters. If you put all those ingredients together, the outcome could be the biggest buck of your life.